Hey everybody, what's up? What's going on? My name is Joe Weinrich. Today we're going to be talking about how to stack the odds in your favor if you own an e-commerce brand. As many of you know, I got into this game not really in e-commerce. I got into it as a copywriter and as kind of a consultant for marketing just in general. And what I've understood since the day that I got into this game, the first thing that I was told was that people don't understand customer awareness levels. And you might have heard this a million times, and I heard this a million times, and I truthfully didn't understand it until I actually had to put it in practice. And I actually had to use it. Because you can get away with not using it for a really long time, but it's when you try and level up as an entrepreneur that you have to use it. And I wasn't ready the first time that I heard about it, and I really understood it. I wasn't ready for it, okay? And so I didn't use it. And you probably weren't ready either. But if you're trying to level your business up and you're trying to grow your business, you've got to use it. Because if you don't, you're just going to be like everybody else and you're going to get the same results everybody else does. Their bad, their worst today is going to be your ceiling. That's what happens if you copy somebody else. So here's customer awareness levels in a very short way and how it stacks the odds in your favor when you actually deploy it. Because everybody teaches this stuff, but they don't actually teach you like, Hey, here's how to use it in your marketing. Like, here's how to deploy it in your business. Okay, they don't, they, they, they read about it, they hear about it, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna teach people about this because that's gonna make me sound smart. And then they're like, oh, that's it, you know, congrats, now go do whatever you were just doing, you know, we're not gonna give you any implementation advice. And it's like, okay, well, thanks, that doesn't help at all, you just wasted 20 minutes of my time. So, I'm gonna teach you how to do it without wasting 20 minutes of your time and how to show you exactly how to deploy it in your business in two different ways that are going to help you a lot more than everybody else. Okay, so to start, let's talk about customer awareness levels and exactly what it is. So in any market, you have about four different sections of people, let's say, okay, just to make this really easy, you know, for a quick information transfer between you and I. And so at the very top, 3% of people are immediately ready to buy at any point. These are people who they just need to see an ad and they'll be pushed over the over the edge. These people right here, they know that they have a problem and they know their solutions, but they're not really looking right now. They're not ready to buy. They're not in front of their computer. They might be driving. They're not immediately ready to buy. It's not that pressing. These people know that they have a problem, but they aren't looking for solutions. They don't know that they're solutions. They just know that they have a problem. Then the people down here, they might know that they have a problem, but they got a ton of other stuff that they got to deal with. They don't, aren't even looking for the solutions. They don't know solutions exist. But still, how does that help you? Well, because most people just focus on this group here. All of your competition is focusing on this group right here. If you're in e-commerce, I can confidently tell you your competition is focusing on this group here. And you can see it in the advertisements. You can see it in the landing pages. You can see it in their marketing as a process because they just put out products in front of people and say, hey, here's this thing that we have, come check it out. And the only people that click on this are these people right here that are ready to buy. And that's why the average click-through rate on an ad is 0.7% to 3% on a great ad considered, right? But that's not good. You know, a 3% per click-through rate? Okay, who cares? If that's your best day, you're not doing too hot. Well, let's go even deeper. What's the average conversion rate on a website? Well, it's 3 to 5%. Again, average of 3, 5% on a good day. And you can see how this lines up with this up here. Because people have this process. They have an ad that shows a product that goes to a product page and then that product page goes to a checkout and then it goes to a normal thank you page. And then that's it. That's the process that everybody runs. And this entire process is built off the fact that they're just focusing on this 3% of people. And so when ad costs go up, we get confused. When the, our product pages don't convert that high, we get confused. And we're trying to make a business run off of the fact that we're just targeting this, the, these people up here. And people get confused as to why they can't get any control or any clarity in their business. Well, this is why, because you're not focusing on anybody else here. So how do we fix it? Well, 
We can focus on everybody in this market by targeting the one thing that they all have in common. What's that one thing that they all have in common? Oh, it's the fact that they all have a problem. Everybody in this market has a problem. These people have a problem, they just don't know it yet. These people have a problem and they know it, they don't know that there's solutions. These people have a problem and they know there's solutions for it, but they're not ready to buy. These people know that they have a problem, they know their solutions and they're ready to buy. All of these people have the same problem. So in our marketing, instead of just putting out a product in front of somebody and saying, hey, go buy this thing, we're going to say, hey, are you dealing with this problem? Here's the real way to solve it. And then we talk about the unique solution. We talk about the unique mechanism. We talk about what our product is different, you know, what makes it different. We talk about all the things related to the problem. But we start with the problem. And so with our ads, to get, I mean, 3% is abysmal. Our average click-through rate on our ads is about 5.5%. On a very good ad, we're getting 7 to 8% click-through rate from the people that see it on Meta specifically. And so the way that we do that is by putting out what we call a two-step attraction system. And this is stuff that I teach clients that pay me a lot of money to teach it, and I'm giving it to you today for free. So get a notepad, do whatever you need to do. But the two-step attraction system that we use for meta advertising works two, two steps. The first step is we use core platforms like Meta, Google, and YouTube to put out ads that attract emotional clicks. As we've talked about before, everything is bought in two ways. First, you get an emotional connection with your customers. Second, they use that their intellect to justify the emotional sale that's already been made in their minds. And so that intellect is where we actually do the selling. And the selling isn't done on the, on the ad itself. The selling is done on the sales page, right? And so the ad, the only goal of the ad is to get enough curiosity and rile up enough emotion in somebody to get them to click. That's it. That's the only goal of our advertisement. And so when we put that advertisement out there, we get a lot of clicks and they're all qualified because they're all dealing with the problem that we solve. But then they go to a product page. And normally, if somebody's clicking through because they have a problem, a normal product page isn't going to cut it. But that's where we change things up. Because we can double or triple this click this conversion right here by turning this normal product page into a sales page. And like I said at the beginning, I got into this game through copywriting and as an advertising consultant, so I know direct response really well. And so what we do is we take these product pages that convert at like 3% and we turn them into sales pages where we start with a big headline at the top targeting that problem that attracts all of those qualified clicks in. Once we've got them all in, they start reading. They start dealing, they start understanding why they, they're dealing with the thing that they're dealing with, why they're dealing with that problem. We go into the unique solution. We talk about why none of the things that they've dealt with have worked so far. We talk about the unique solution that we have, the unique mechanism that actually makes it work. And then we talk about our product. And we talk about how our product delivers that unique solution. And then after that, we deal with every single objection somebody could possibly have by turning those objections into sales points. And that's the process. That's the process that takes our conversion rates right from three to five percent to ten percent on average for these pages one in ten people on these pages is converted and that might sound crazy to you but when an average product page where you're just putting it in front of somebody is converting it about three percent from these people ready to buy and capturing all these sales up here well if I was to target the problem that my entire market faced and I was targeting all hundred percent of my market it's pretty easy to understand why 10% conversion rate when you're targeting the entire market because you're targeting that problem that they all have, why 10% is actually pretty low, right? And why we can average that out and why that makes sense. And so we stack the odds in our favor by getting a higher click-through rate with these emotional ads on our core platforms. We retarget with intellectual ads where we just put the product in front of somebody, but only after they've seen the emotional ad and the actual product and the sales page that we're directing them to, right? And so then these supplemental platforms that we have, those things are going to supplement our advertising on those core platforms with intellectual ads that put the product in front of somebody saying, hey, go buy this, here's a quick discount, here's a bonus, here's free shipping, whatever it is, right? And so we have everything that everybody else has, but we also get a higher click-through rate and we get a higher conversion rate on our pages. And so we stack the odds in our favor by getting an obscene amount of people to click on our ads and getting an unreal amount of people from that already high group of people that clicked to convert. 
And so that's how we stack the odds in our favor, by using direct response architecture and by actually selling on our ads. Instead of just targeting this top group of people, we target the entire market. And this is how we crush it. This is how to stack the odds in your favor. I hope that helped.